Hey, beautifuls. Oh my goodness, what a day. It's been a day. It has been a day, and by that I mean it has been a really good day. I'm hoping to spread some positive energy on you. I am cooking as I always do with these. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that, you know, has been on my mind, has, has definitely been on my mind. Hey, Rosarda, it's been a gazillion years. Um, I apologize, I'm cooking and, and talking at the same time on a tight schedule. But um, if you're not familiar with me, if any of you joined and you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are unhappy at work and beyond get their mojo back, make adulting fun. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, very briefly, about this idea of feeling lonely and unloved. And it's been something that's come up for me late, and actually something that came up for me lately. Um, you know, my birthday was a few days ago, uh, my 25th birthday. Either you're going to say I'm really old or you're going to say, hey, Mary, you're going to say I'm really young. I'm a baby. I will accept both of those compliments. Um, and I was having a crisis. I was like, oh, my gosh, I haven't had a real birthday party in so long. I want somebody to throw me a birthday party. Why hasn't anybody done this? And went through this whole negative spiral, right? Oh, my goodness. And then realized, you know, I'm, I'm so, I have so much to be grateful for. You know, but what, what came out of this, as, as with anything that we experience in life, is this idea that if we want someone to love us a certain way, or we want someone to show that they care in a certain way, <laughs> baby, all right, all right. Um, if, you, if you want someone to show you that they love you in a certain way or care for you in a certain way, you have to first be, okay, Michelle, all right, just for a few. Um, you have to first be the person that shows them how to love you. So we aren't mind readers. We aren't, you know, people aren't mind readers. Uh, the people in my life, the people who have been in my life for years and years and years are not mind readers. Now, Stormy, my friend Stormy, she's, get, she's getting pretty close. <laughs> but she's still not there. She still doesn't know me 100%. She still didn't know that I wanted a birthday party, right? And, and, you know, first world problems or something. Um, but what had to happen is I had to show people how I wanted to be loved. So instead of moping around and saying, well, I wanted someone to love me this way, or I wanted to someone to love me that way. Hey, Shauna, sending you love. Um, instead of moping around and saying, you know, this isn't being done for me. People don't love me, which is so not true. Um, I was like, I'm going to show people how to love me. I'm going to show myself how to love myself because clearly I'm not doing it. Clearly I'm sitting here moping and being grouchy and, you know, I don't know what it was last week. I feel like raise your hand if you're like, uh, if you were feeling the grouch because I feel like last week was like the grouch week. I don't know what it was about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Shana, yeah. Um, so, so a little after effects on some of the people that I'm working with, but what I did was instead of saying, hey, you know, I wanted a birthday party. God damn it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was like, gosh dang it. I'm going to throw myself a birthday party. I'm going to show people how to love me, how, that, how I want to be loved. I want to go. I want to be happy and I want to dance and I want to be my highest self for my birthday. Of course, I wasn't very good at it the day before my birthday. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was a little mopey. But on my birthday, yeah, more sad impact benefits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Shama, for sure, for sure. I, I was, it's hard when we're in our line of work to, so guys, Shama is an amazing hypno soul coach. She's like amazing. We're partnering on something in January and February, so keep your eyes out. But it's hard for us in our line of work where we're working with people who have burdens and we have our own burdens. And we want to move forward and we want to be the positivity and the light for the world. Um, and so we kind of pick up, we have to pick ourselves up from our bootstraps. Um, but really it's all about saying like, this is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is how I want to be loved. And in showing people how you want to be loved, 
and saying, this is what I want for myself. I want a nice home cooked meal. I want, you know, to go and spend quality time with the people that I love on my birthday. I want this. I want to be touched, like the physical touch. One of my love languages is physical touch. I'm gonna to give somebody a hug. I'm gonna say I love you. Thank you. Like I thank you so much for being in my life. I show people how to love me so that they are empowered to love me the way that I want to be loved. And so if you're feeling lonely, then it's time to love yourself first and put yourself in a situation where you're going to be growing and you're going to be showing other people that I want to be around you. I want to be surrounded by you. I want to feel your positive energy. I want to feel that. Hey, Anita. Um, and so I just wanted to give you guys, you know, some thoughts on that, some thoughts on feeling lonely and unloved, because the first step is really loving ourselves and showing others how we want to be loved. So I threw myself a birthday party. Um, you, whatever it is in your mind, hey, Kathy. Um, whatever it is in your mind that you know that you need to feel loved, that you want for yourself, whether it's a birthday party, whether it's a homemade meal, whether it's a bouquet of flowers, whatever it is, whether it's a nap, whether it's a bubble bath, you know, hey, Anita, um, whatever it is that you need so that you feel loved and you feel surrounded by support, you have to set that example. You're the leader. You're the guide. And um, so I wanted to really give you guys that little nugget. And I also wanted to share some really, really exciting news, which is why I'm like all like doing the dance and like just on top of the world right now. I was actually featured, my workshop called Feeling Salty, which you guys hear me talk about all the time, was featured in the Philadelphia Inquirer. Now I haven't checked out the newspapers yet. I have to go get the actual newspaper, but it is online at philly.com. I'm gonna share the link, don't worry. Um, they did a write-up, a beautiful, beautiful write-up on my workshop, and it tells you all about it. Um, so if you were on the fence about coming to one of my workshops, like, this is your excuse to be like, okay, I'm going to come now. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to step into my highest self. Yes, Michelle, right? It's so exciting. <laughs> um, so I don't know if it's going to be in print today or if it was. it's, it's going to be in print tomorrow or the following day, but it is online the Philadelphia Inquirer wrote about it, rave reviews, um, really funny analogies. The beautiful Alice Thompson is featured actually meditating in the salt. So there's some really, really cool stuff. And um, so if you were on the fence about coming to Feeling Salty, I hope this like tips you over the edge and, and, and helps you realize that this is going to be a really great experience for you. So I've got one tomorrow night. There's two spots left. It's in Center City. I, it's at one of the WeWork locations. Why am I blanking? It's at, I think it's at 16th and Market, um, and it is sponsored by um, On Route Financial, and its focus is women entrepreneurs, although we're going to be focusing on everything. So that's one. And then on October 15th, this one's for the general public. It's part of Philadelphia Open Studio Tours, um, and that one is also free. It's going to be outside in the Glen Dining Rock Garden. Make sure you get to one of these. I'm going to be doing another one on October 24th. There are a ton. Go to atopstudios.eventbrite.com. I want to see you there because it is going to be awesome sauce. And while it is going to be fun, we're going to be playing in salt. It's also going to be hard work. So hard work, fun, hard work, fun. It's kind of like a, a run. You know, runners talk about runners high. We're going to have we're going to have the hard work and the runners high. Except we're not running. I promise. Like you don't need running shoes or something. Um, I would love to see you guys there. Now, I've got to go. I have a call in one minute, but I love you guys, and I wanted to share that insight with you. Show other people how to love you because you are so worth it. And you know what else? You matter. You matter, all right? So um, besides all of that other stuff, if you want to talk to me, I'm here. Shoot me a Facebook message. Shoot me an email. Comment, whatever. Whatever you got to do to get in contact with me, let's talk. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'm going to eat dinner and get on this call. <laughs> <laughs>